how to explain how to explain chronic fatigue. Did you catch that? That makes sense to you. I've had men in my life that don't understand and don't care. It takes energy to change your clothes. I'll tell him. There, that's my phone. My cat is playing with my camera lens cover. I think I have nine of them. I think the dog is scratching. This is the time I'm gonna feel like crap. Hi everybody, welcome back. I thought I'd make a video today on how you can maybe explain to your kids what chronic fatigue feels like an easy way to explain it to them or how to explain to your husband what chronic fatigue feels like or your family. I have fibromyalgia and along with that fibromyalgia comes chronic fatigue. Yeah, it, it, and I it, I don't like having it, but I deal with it. I do deal with it. Rob helps me deal with it. We deal with it. I mean, don't, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because I don't feel sorry for me. I've accepted that, you know what, I have this. It sucks, but life goes on, and we're gonna just deal with it in a new kind of way, which isn't new for me because I've had it for a while. I've had this for long years. Diagnosed with this probably in my very late teens, early 20s. It, it's been that long, and I'm, in, I'm like 54 now. I think I'm 54. I'm, I'm 50 something. Okay, 50 something, I'm in my 50s. So I've dealt with this a long time. Don't feel sorry for me, I don't feel sorry for me. And if you have this, it's a lot easier to deal with this when you just realize, hey, I have this, I'm gonna own it, and we're gonna move on. That's basically what I did. Let's talk about an easy way, using spoons. Yes, we're gonna use spoons for this, why? Because a long time ago, I forget the person's name, but they came up with this theory. I'll link the actual story in my description, but it all boiled down to a woman was trying to explain to somebody what chronic fatigue felt like, and I think she had lupus. I'll link that in my description. Go read that story. It's pretty interesting. I have nine spoons here. I think that's what I have. But that's what I grabbed. I think I grabbed nine spoons. And each of these spoons represents a portion of your energy or any something you do, an activity you do. Imagine having this much energy for the day. That that's it. And this is a lot, of, this is a lot. For a person that has chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, lupus, anything, anything of the sort, even even a mental illness of some sort because that makes you tired too. Things that make you exhausted. And when I'm talking exhausted, I don't mean, oh, I'm tired. I mean, you're exhausted. You ache, you can't move, exhausted. This is our energy only for the day. I got up this morning and I made a thumbnail. So that's one thing I did that cost me energy. Now, when I was getting up this morning, I thought, oh, kind of ache today, kind of don't want to get out of bed, but we're gonna do it. So I made a thumbnail. Just making the thumbnail, sitting down and doing that was mental energy. So there you go, one one away. Now, I haven't washed my hair in about two or three days and I thought, I need to wash my hair today. I just have to do that. I just need to, it just feels, it just feels like it. Washing my hair, all right? That's just washing my hair. You know, the weather outside, it's getting, it's in the 40s, yesterday it was in the 70s, everything's changing. This is the time I'm gonna feel like crap. I had to dry my hair and curl it. I like to curl my hair, which I probably shouldn't have done. But I got ready for the day using my energy. I had to go pick up my prescriptions today. There you go. There's another one. So already I've used four energies and I have five left for the day. Five left. That's all I can do is five more things because I know I'm feeling my cat is playing with my camera lens cover underneath. You're interrupting. Go away. So what did we do here? I think we picked up prescriptions. Now I have five more left. That's it. I have five more things I can do for the day. I was hungry and I thought, should I stop on the way home and get something through a drive through or go home and cook? I went home and cooked and I thought, I really would like hash and eggs. I asked Rob if he was hungry and he's like, yeah, I'm hungry. I cooked. Not only did I cook, dummy me, 
All right, I already feel like crap. Let's make a video while we do it. So I made a video on how to make hash and eggs and stuff, which takes energy because I gotta do a little bit of setup, gotta get the ring light out, just, just the things. But I love doing that. That's what I love doing. So there goes two. I have three left. Rob went hunting and I told him when he left, I said, I don't feel very good today. I might be in home, be in bed when you get home. He's okay with that. So I have three more things left. So what do I do? Dummy me, I get out the camera and think, oh, I'm gonna film a video on how to explain, how to explain chronic fatigue. Did you catch that? That makes sense to you. So there, I'm doing that. So I have two more spoons for the day. I've got my blanket on, I'm warm, I'm cozy, I'm tired. Today I'm worn out and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it, it's there. And that's all I got. I have the whole rest of the evening to get through and I only have two more spoons left. I am aching so bad right now. It's gonna take me one spoon just to go put my pajamas on and to get in bed. It, it's gonna do that. That takes, that takes energy. When you have chronic fatigue, it takes energy to change your clothes. So there goes that spoon. So I have one more spoon left, one more spoon. And that is probably gonna actually be getting into bed. When you have chronic fatigue, getting into bed and getting whatever you need to get to bed, that takes energy. For a person that doesn't have chronic fatigue, or anything else they're like are you're kidding me right no i'm not kidding you it's gonna take me this spoon to get into bed yeah so that's an easy way to explain to somebody what chronic fatigue feels like i can tell rob or i can tell my kids or my mom or dad i have the dog is scratching stop it please i'm filming I can tell my kids, you know, or the family, I, I only have two spoons left. And they understand exactly what that means because they've read the story and they've heard me tell the story. When I have two spoons left, mom's only got two spoons left, I only can do so much, they understand that. Or when I tell Rob, when we go somewhere, I have one spoon left, I only have one. I'll tell him, there, that's my phone. On the way home, maybe I should turn the volume off. We're going to do that. I can tell Rob on the way home, I have one spoon left. And Rob knows that I don't have any energy. His wife's going to need some help. And Rob willingly, willingly steps up. He'll walk around the car, help me walk in the house. Because at that point, I can't probably walk because I've had back surgery along with all of this. And he helps me into the house and he helps me get ready for bed. He'll help me get into bed and then, you know, ask me. He will ask me, is there anything else you need? I have my phone on me. If you need anything, let me know. I'm very, very, very lucky to have Rob. And I know that because I've had men in my life that don't understand and don't care and didn't want to hear my spoon theory and just, they, didn't, they didn't care. I'm very, 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 very thankful that I have Rob because he knows. He knows just what to do. And Rob even took it upon himself to like do some research on fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue so he would know how to help me. Now, if that's not a good man, I, I don't know what it is, you know? There you go. How to explain to your kids and your family and whoever else you want to explain this to that's in your life, how to explain how you feel, why you're so, you know, maybe not why you're so tired, but just how you feel and what, what you need. And maybe they can help you too. And maybe they can understand. All right. I will see you in my next video. I'm going to bed. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, too low.